Hey, welcome back into today's video. Somebody reached out to me in the community and asked me if I could look into the Etika controversy. It seems like he uploaded some... Uh, that's right, Greg, some very not right things to his YouTube channel. Ended up getting his channel deleted and it's just... It's a very just bad situation. So it looks like it started back in March 2018 when he posted two things. Can't stream on my YouTube channel anymore until June, so a will be live at twitch.tv until the community guideline strike is gone. I know, but we gotta work with what we got. Th this was something that made him just like feel very unhappy, and I understand like if I got a strike on my channel, I would feel some type of way. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I started uh, Patreon was because uh, if anything did happen on YouTube, then I'd still wanted to be in touch with my community and still be able to do those live streams and stuff like that. So uh, I could see how this makes him feel like really, really bad. And a lot of people said he was already struggling with mental health anyway. So this spiraled into the current situation he posted this on his reddit page a day ago and now it's my turn to die i love you all keep fighting for me okay i miss y'all make the world a better place for your own kids remember to stargaze these last six years have been an honor and basically what happened his youtube channel was deleted because he uploaded now, a lot of people thought that he was hacked. Keemstar sent this out in a tweet. So, Etika quit YouTube for good. Many are saying he was hacked, but other sources are saying he uploaded to his channel to say goodbye, knowing his channel would be terminated. No confirmation on either, but I did get a strange DM from him two days ago. This DM said this. Etika says to Keemstar, I'm curious to run an experiment. Judging from your professional position, of course, what in your book do you think my own threshold for potential... Uh, no notoriety, fame, etc. It's just something I think you do well, so it's like looking into a crystal ball or something, right? Keemstar said, be more clear. Etika then said, will I become famous in your eyes? Keemstar says, yes. And then he says, good answer, and then thought emoji. And I could see where this paired with the Reddit page led a lot of people to believe that uh, he was in a, a very bad mental state. Uh, it's really easy to get depressed w while being a YouTuber because especially if you're making uh, daily content, uh, you, people think that we as YouTubers don't uh, read the comments and then so many comments are negative and then you always feel like a sort of pressure to be there for the community and then if youtube comes in and like stops your ability to be closer by live streaming and stuff like that it can add to the pressure that's when his friends started trying to reach out to him okay now i'm actually worried about etika i'm trying to get in touch with him but his phone's dead no idea what's going on hope he's okay seems like his channel is hacked and all of this social media is gone a lot of people were thinking that this was sort of an ARG for Halloween. It was all planned, it was all fake, and they were posting memes about it on his Reddit channel. Then he posted this. Guys, I'm fine. Stop worrying about me, lol. You know I like to be overdramatic. Carry on. The community response was a little pissed off. This wasn't very cash money of you, Etika. Doubt. There was this Reddit post that really... Uh, got me thinking. Now this is all speculation as stated. Desmond probably got a life-changing experience while being high on weed and from there he started talking about that deep stuff. The whole thing ended with Etika losing his mind and yeah, he is in a mental hospital. Things like this also already happened in the past where Etika just consumed drugs, got really messed up and talked about things like breaking boundaries and then put a video providing evidence. I'm gonna show you guys something that I promised I would never show on camera. This is called, I somehow managed to smuggle this past TSA. <sighs> you see that? Some of you might remember that Desmond had a channel where he was posting dark 4chan stuff as he describes it, which I think also had something to do with depression and anxiety. He wasn't streaming really actively. It seems like from just the things that I've read that he struggles with mental health uh, very much and he probably, it's a very touchy thing. Sometimes uh, you, you don't want to express it to your audience because you don't want them to feel bad either. So. At first he was saying he was fine and everything like that, but then it came out that he was actually in a mental hospital. Oh, he was actually hurting and it 
it's breaking my heart right now it's legit it's crushing my soul to know that he's going through so much pain that was from his ex-girlfriend who is uh, showing him very loving and uh, consistent support. She also tweeted a thread, Desmond Daniel aka Etika is at Elmhurst Mental Hospital. He called me just now and he told me to let you all know. Is it all real? Is it? I'm not, I'm not mad at you or anything. I can totally get it. Yeah, it's all real. Oh, okay. It's all real. That's why I'm calling you. I need, I need you to listen to me, okay? I'm currently in a mental hospital, but you don't don't freak out, okay? Don't I'm not, I'm not, I'm not freaking out, okay. Uh, all right, so, uh, um, I'm I, trying to see what information I can give you to just help out. I know it's very polarizing. There's a lot of love and hate online right now. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm, I'm relieved that you're finally getting some kind of help. But Etika is struggling with mental help, but he is seeking help. And I think with the support of everyone, he's uh, he's going to be able to overcome this. So I hope this video helped you guys figure out what was going on with Etika. I am going to be updating on this, so make sure notifications are turned on. Follow the Twitter. And as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right. You guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. I mean, I understand with the mental health struggling. I was in an accident where I was hit by a car in 2017. That's that's how I even started doing YouTube as a, as a method to uh, help with my depression because I couldn't walk or anything like that. So it was mental health is a serious thing and a lot of us are struggling with it. And um, I'm glad that he's seeking his help. I currently see a therapist too and I'm, I've been seeking help for it as well. If any of you guys need to talk, you know where to find me. And uh, I know that you're ripping. If you're not ripping, you're great. And how do you become a member of the Rep Squad? All you gotta do is subscribe with notifications turned on. Be in the comment section for every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat is gonna be there and the rest of the Rep Squad community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. <coughs> I need some more coffee.